Hi guys! So today I wanted to do a review of the Too Faced Leopard Love Complexion Perfection Kit. And this is a palette from Too Faced Cosmetics that comes with three different sort of cheek products. So it comes with the bronzer, uh, which is Peach Leopard, the blush in Candy Leopard, and the brightener. Um, which is also actually a bronzer, in Pink Leopard. So we have Peach Leopard, Candy Leopard, and Pink Leopard. And on the back, it has descriptions of sort of how to use the products, recommended by them. Um, I do sort of follow this um, quite a lot, because I find that it works. And it also it comes with a mi mirror, which is really pretty. I do have the products on my face right now. At the end of this video, I'll put in the clip where I demonstrate how I use this product um, and I've been using it for every day since I got it and things I got this in a sale at passion cosmetics dot se new net something like that um, they had a major sale they do still have it going on I'm not sure if they still have this particular palette um, but they did have the uh, you know, the palette with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and they had the one... <sighs> I don't know what any of them is called. And they also had the Liquify. I know that one. But they did have the insurance, and I do regret not buying that, because they were really cheap. Um, regularly, this palette is 350 crowns, but I was able to get it for 90 at the sale, and I figured that was really worth it, because I really like bronzers and blushes and highlighters. Would I say that 350 crowns is worth it for this palette? It probably is, if you want to get started in bronzers and stuff. And this is brilliant for travel, because this is really all you'll need. Um, um, it does sort of follow the um, thoughts behind things like the Wonder Woman MSFs uh, from MAC that came out, which also has a uh, bronzer, blush, and a highlighter. Um, so, you know, many companies have this sort of idea of creating a perfect complexion kit. And I do think Too Faced did a great job. Um, it's brilliant now for the summer. I do not know how this will work in the winter when I'm pale. Um, I won't do swatches of these colors right now because my lighting is not good. And yeah, and I want to make this justice. I do really like this palette. Um,. Peach Leopard is sort of matte satin kind of thing. You know, you see the colors, like it's it's multiple color. And the darkest brown in this is completely matte. And the peach and the lighter brown have sort of a little bit of a satin look. So when you blend it all together, it kind of turns into a satin on your face. Um, Candy Leopard, the darkest pink is matte. But the two other colors do have a sort of a bit of a frost to it, so you do get shimmer on your cheeks. But I don't find it to be overpowering like I do with the uh, Wonder Woman MSF and Pink Power. I do find that to be really shimmery, and it just detracts from everything else. Um, and then obviously, Pink Leopard, this one, is incredibly shimmery. Like it's it's nearly metallic which is why it will be perfect as a highlighter and a brightener um, because it has that metallicness but also that gorgeous bronze color that really just makes you look naturally tan and you can see I'm like an NW15 in MAC and I do look like I've been in the sun with this which I never do with any other bronzer I just look like I have sort of a bronzy color on my cheeks also uh, Pink Leopard is gorgeous on your brow bone to also make you look a bit more tan. Some downsides to this palette, obviously the price, 350 crowns, is a lot, and I do not know how it is in any other currency. I just know that it's 350. Um, I do know you can get it for like 320 on some web shops, but I think 90 was like a brilliant price that I'm really happy to have gotten it for, because I don't know if I would have bought it otherwise. Um, I don't know if I really find for it to be worth it. Um, you know, because it's a lot of money. Um, although you do get, you get 2.5 grams of all these. 
I don't know how much the full sizes are, but obviously they must be bigger. These are like this big. I don't know. I don't think I have a ruler anywhere near so I can measure them. Um, so to get 7.5 grams of product of three different, yeah, you know, like if it's in your price range, sure, go get it. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous, and despite it being a cardboard, it has magnetic closure. Um, it's a cardboard palette for sure, yes, but it feels kind of sturdy. It doesn't feel like you would rip it very easily, because this thing here is quite strong. The, uh, that. It's strong. <laughs> so it doesn't feel like I would just be able to just rip it apart like, you know, some of the cheaper ones do. Some downsides, like you said, um, the price is a big downside. Um, the mirror, I think, is brilliant that it has this shape. Normally you get, like, the weirdly shaped ones, the round ones. I don't really think they work. However, this one is able to get both of your cheeks in uh, the same sort of shot so you're able to compare and see that everything's even. And, yeah. Also, the uh, pink leopard, when you use it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really show it, but if you don't work it into the skin enough, you get these sort of like weird dark spots, and I think that's because the darkest color in the pink leopard is a bit different formulated than the others, so it sort of leaves like little spots. But if you start blending it in, it disappears. I think that just the pigments are like rougher and need to be just worked in a bit. So yeah, that's my weird- there's somebody walking with like three horses outside my window. Exciting things happen in the countryside, right? Um, but yeah, I do definitely recommend this, especially if you missed out on um, the Wonder Woman MSFs. Good thing. Good, good, good thing. So I am going to put in the clip of me applying it. And I will see you guys there. Bye. Showing you guys how I would use this product. And so I'm going to start off with, I'm going to do them in order. Um, so I'm going to start off with Peach Leopard. And I'm going to take that on my Sephora Professional Contour Blush Bronzer number 43 brush. But I do also tend to use my Isadora Bronzer brush. Um, but for now I'm going to use this. So just kind of swirl it into the powder so it looks like that tap it off on my hand and apply it whoops sorry I need to use this mirror sorry and apply it to slightly higher points of my cheeks blend it up into my hairline just to make me look sort of bronze and I do realize I'm a bit washed out right now but hang in there So I have a bit of a fresher glow, and then for Candy Leopard, sorry, I need to read off of this, I'm going to use my Sigma F40 brush, mine is dirty, I know, also tap some off, and just apply that to the normal place where I would apply blush, which is sort of on top of the Peach Leopard, um, just slightly off it. And then finally for ugh, Pink Leopard, I could either use the Sephora brush again or a Sigma F50 Duo Fiber brush. And I'm gonna use the Duo Fiber, so I'm just gonna take it on the side of the brush and go on my cheekbones, up, underneath of that Peach Leopard, so like above my eyebrow. And thanks to this being a duo fiber brush, I don't get too much product on my face, but I'm still able to sort of blend it in and work it into my skin. <laughs> I 
And that leaves me with a really pretty glow, sort of really bronze stand. Gorgeous!